All right. So uh, let me remind you to like the video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel. This is the Dumb News of the Week. It's a new segment here on the channel, new segment on Gabbing with Geeks. We're going to take a look at the dumbest news story that we could find for the week involved in gaming or geek culture. This week, we're going to be talking about hostile architecture, Gary. Are you, are you excited? Uh, I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, well, hostile architecture is architecture that is designed in a way that it offends people. But how? Oh, that does sound kind of dumb. Overwatch 2 removed hostile architecture from new map at fan request. And as you can see on the screen, that is the hostile architecture. Are you offended, Gary? I am not offended, but I am intrigued what it, what it is I'm actually looking at here. What you're looking at is a bench that has dividers so that each person has individual seats, right? So there's three seats on that bench. you got two armrests. Uh, for everybody, though it in practice it's more like two armrest uh, for two of the people and one armrest or no armrest for the guy in the middle, because you know. But you see, this is very offensive to people, Gary, because this type of architecture, which is present in the real world, it doesn't allow homeless people to sleep on the bench. It's very uncomfortable for homeless people to sleep there. Oh. They can always sleep on the floor. Sweet and tender hooligans, right? It's anti-homeless. Now, what makes this story, now, what makes this story stupid is because although anti-homeless benches like this might be uh, insensitive in the real world, you know, you might say, hey, homeless people exist. They, they, you know, don't make their lives any harder than it is, right? This isn't a video game. People were yeah. offended that the benches existed in a fictional universe inside of a video game. <clears throat> and, to my shock, the developers of Overwatch 2 agreed, and they removed them from the game. That's fucking... Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't quite understand it. It's a... <clears throat> first of all... I never really seen the difference between a bench and, and, and the concrete. They're all they're both pretty hard, um, and it's like you said, Tony. It's in a game. This is just kind of a head scratcher. Like, if a developer's willing, you know, it's it's weird that developers are willing to bend on stupid things, but the things that the hardcore uh, fans that really have love for the series, you know, things like Pokemon. Things that they can't change, they will not change, refuse to change. Things that actually affect the gameplay and things that, you know, like I said, hardcore fans want to see in the game, they won't touch. But things like this were, and, and granted, this is an easy fix for them, right? This is something that they can be like, okay, well, we, we went back and, and fixed it for you guys. And if that's going to sell a few more copies, then we're going to do it. Um, I was always... Um, I heard, a th you know, I, I think I might have talked about this before. I, you know, I heard somebody in a developer talk about, and it was a, it was a big known developer, talk about how, you know, the developer should be happy with what he makes first and foremost. Um, fans really shouldn't be a deciding factor. You know, you make the game for yourself, and then hopefully that in that gets people excited. You know, you, you, you please yourself first and then you please the fans. Obviously it's a lot different when you have a, you know, a series that's been over 20 years, then obviously fans kind of should have a say on, on the series to a certain extent, you know, what they want to see into it, because obviously you're trying to breathe new life into a game. You're trying to make it fresh. The a fans take should be something, you know, Overwatch has been out for how long now, like seven, seven years or maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, yeah. So like I, 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 I would, I would say they, they, they have some say in it. But if is that really where we're going? Or benches? I mean, something that's really not going to affect the game at all. all right. So, while I find it dumb and you find it dumb, there are some people in the chat of this uh, live stream, in case you're watching this on the replay, that, that are disagreeing with us. They're saying um, it's offensive in real life and it normalizes it because it's in a video game. I'll tell you this, guys. 
nine times out of ten, no one's noticing this stuff in the background of Overwatch. They're playing the game. They're not really thinking about this stuff. They're just trying to play the game. Okay. Secondly, again, this is so minimal. No one gives a shit, right? I'm I'm not a bench-making company. I'm not like, oh, shit, uh, I'm going to change my mind because Overwatch changed their benches, right? No. Uh, people who care about these kind of issues uh, are already taking the steps necessary to remove them from real life. They should be worried about real life and not video games, right? These are pixels on the screen. Just like when I said people are so scared of pixelated spiders and it's stupid. Uh, people who are offended by pixelated separate benches uh, with anti-homeless armrest uh, really have too much time on their hands, right? I mean, my question is, is do you think the same people who are complaining about these benches are the same people who are taking time out of their day to go to, you know, homeless shelters and, and soup kitchens and, and actually put in the... Uh, the time and effort to actually do something and change the world by helping the homeless? Or do you think they're nine times out of 10, just complaining to complain? Yeah. And while some people are saying, well, it fits the theme of the game for them not to be in there. Uh, if the developers put them in there, they, that's their decision, right? If they think that it fits the theme of the game to put them in there, it's up to them. It's not up to some random Twitter user to be like, Hey guys, this is offending me. Uh, and the fact that the developer would waste their time, and I know Gary says it's an evil, easy fix, but 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it takes, you know, if the game is now subpar, you can always point back. Remember that, that day that you wasted 20 minutes uh, doing Right, that it takes away of, from another aspect. I agree with that. Instead of 20 minutes of balancing or 20 minutes of testing or whatever it is. <clears throat> so this is, to me, the dumbest news story of the week. Let me know in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, if you think maybe I'm just too insensitive towards people's plights, whatever it is. Hey, hey.